I want you to focus on the center of my hand right now. That's the only thing you need to be worried about. Just focus on the center of my hand. And what I want you to do is while you're focused on my hand and listening to my voice, I just want you to take a deep breath in and exhale. And just feel nice and relaxed. You're doing great. I want you to start to relax all the muscles in your body. And as you focus on my hand, focus on my voice. I want you to take another deep breath in and exhale. I want you to realize when you inhale, your focus is going to grow. I want you to be focused on my voice while you are focused on my hand. When you inhale, your focus is going to grow. When you exhale, you're going to release stress and pressure. Let's do that one more time. We're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale. Get your eyelids closed. But I want you to be listening to my voice with your eyes closed. And I want you to realize that in a little while, your imagination is going to get very vivid. You're going to see things with amazing clarity and vivid detail. You're going to see things that aren't even there. And you're going to see things and they're going to be very detailed. You're going to be focused on my voice. And the important thing to remember is that you're as relaxed and comfortable as you can possibly be. So with your eyes closed and focused on my voice, let's take another deep breath in. And exhale and relax. In a little while, we're going to start things. When they start, they're going to start to work fast. They're going to start to work strong. They're going to continue to work stronger until we say the word erase. When we say the word erase, everything that was happening will stop immediately until we start them again. When we start them again, they will start even quicker than they did before. Now you're focused on my voice, feeling totally relaxed. Later on, if you hear sounds around you, or somebody around you moves you, touches you, that's going to be no problem. You can use that to go into it even further and increase your focus. So I'm going to snap you out of this in a moment. Let's take one more deep breath. And exhale. Okay, I'm going to snap you out of this. On three, your eyes are going to be awake. You're going to feel the exact same way you did a moment ago. That's on one, two, three. Open your eyes. Very good. You guys did great. Okay? Feeling totally relaxed, totally comfortable. We're going to do a couple of suggestibility tests just to make sure you're in the right frame of mind. So once again, bring your eyes up here to my hand. Okay? Feeling relaxed and take a deep breath in. And exhale. All I want you to do is put both hands out. And this is just a simple test. So I want you to bring your hands together, your arms straight, and go ahead and interlock your fingers and get a good, tight grip. Okay, just get a good, tight grip. So I'm gonna explain to you exactly what's gonna happen. In a moment, I'm gonna count to three. And the more you try to pull your hands apart, the tighter they're going to lock together. Now, it seems strange now, but when I get to the count of three, your hands will simply refuse to open. So we're gonna set this up right here. Focus on my hand and take a deep breath and exhale. And I want you to realize that when I count to three, the harder you try to pull your hands apart, the tighter they will continue to lock. That's simply because the nature of hypnosis and the trance is beginning to build. You're gonna do it all by yourself as that pressure continues to build. Later on when I say erase, they're gonna release immediately with no problem. So I want you to take your focus off of my hand and onto your own hands. Go ahead and stare at your own hands. And I'd like you to begin and press your own hands together right now. Yeah, that's it. Do it yourself at first. Just build that pressure and feel that lock of your hands growing. And that pressure, the more you tighten your hands, the tighter the lock becomes and the more the pressure builds. In a little while, I can realize I'm going to count to three. When I get to the count of three, your hands will refuse to open. The more you pull them, the more you push them together, the tighter the bond becomes. Feel that pressure now. Apply more pressure and feel that pressure growing. The tighter you push them together, the stronger the bond becomes. It feels like somebody poured rubber cement on your hands. It's getting tighter and tighter. Apply more pressure now. I'm going to start the count. And that's on one, applying more pressure now. Don't look at anybody else's hands. Stare at your own. And pay attention as the bond between your eyes and your hands grows stronger. The longer you stare at your hands, the tighter the bond becomes. And that's on two. The more you try to pull your hands apart, the tighter the bond becomes. Applying more pressure now. You know it's already tight, but the tighter you try to pull them apart, the more the bond grows and it locks further. I'm going to get to three. They're going to be ten times as tight. Three, ten times as tight. Do anything. Try and pull them apart. The more you try to pull them apart, the tighter the bond becomes.
pumps. I'm gonna release it on three. Your hands are gonna release, and that's on one, two, three. Release. Anybody's hands still stuck together? Anybody's hands still stuck together? You good? You good? Anybody's hands? You good? Hey, look at me right here. Release. I put them down. All right, very good. You good? Release. You good. You good? All right. Everybody, look at my eyes right here, right here, right here. Release. Relax. Okay, you good? All right, let's give a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Great. Okay. That was very good. Everybody's hands okay? Hey, Grant, look at me right here. Release. You good? Okay. All right. You good right here? Look at me right here. Relax. Just relax your arms. Okay. Okay. Bring it right back here to my hand. Focus on my hand. Feeling totally relaxed, totally comfortable. Everybody, take a deep breath in. And exhale, I want you to feel totally comfortable. I want you to realize that a little bit your imagination is going to get very vivid. And I want you to allow, allow yourself to have a really good ability to focus on my voice and shut out distractions. As we go along, I'd like you to realize that any sounds around you is going to make your focus build even further. <coughs> if you feel anybody touching you around you, that's going to build your focus even further. So take one more deep breath in and exhale. And once again, I want you to put two hands out like this. Now what I want is your right hand to be facing the floor, your left hand to be facing the ceiling. Your right hand to be facing the floor, your left hand to be facing the ceiling. There you go. Okay. And I want everybody to close your eyes but remain awake. Close your eyes but remain awake. And I want you to really focus on my voice. That's the only thing that matters right now. Later on, if anybody around you moves or if there's sounds around you, that's just going to build your focus even further. <coughs> With your eyes closed, focus on my voice. I'd like you to imagine that you can still see me. In my hand, I'm holding a dictionary. Now, this is a big, thick dictionary. The ones that have the library, it's like a reference-style dictionary, and I want you to see it. It's in my hand. It's one of those heavy dictionaries, and I want you to really see this dictionary. And I want you to give it a color. It's your dictionary. You can't be wrong. See that dictionary. I'd like you to realize that when I count to three, this dictionary is going to be in your left hand. You're not going to be startled, but you're going to feel the weight immediately as it gets in your left hand. But before it gets in your left hand, I want you to see it floating towards you. <laughs> see the dictionary floating towards you. And any sounds around you, that's going to build your focus even further. The dictionary is floating towards you. I really want you to see the texture of the binding and the color of the cover. If there's any words on the cover, I want you to see the words. I'm going to count to three. You're going to feel the weight immediately in your left hand. You're going to feel the weight immediately. It's not going to start on you because you know it's coming. So here we go. One, two, three. Dictionaries in your left hand. Feel that dictionary. You are holding the dictionary in your hand. You feel the weight and it's growing. You feel that weight. It's actually getting heavier. It's getting heavier as it goes along. Feel the weight. You can actually feel the strain in your shoulder. You feel the strain in your shoulder. You're trying to hold that dictionary up. Feel that strain. It's getting heavier as you go along. Now, if you want to turn your attention to your right hand for a moment, I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to tie a string to your right hand. That string is going to be attached to a helium-filled balloon. When I count to three, that balloon is going to rise in the air, and your right arm is going to lift weightlessly into the air. That's on three. One, two, three. That balloon is raising your right hand into the air. Weightlessly into the air. That balloon is taking your right hand in the air as the dictionary continues to weigh your left hand down. I'm gonna make it even heavier. I got a second dictionary here. I'm gonna double the weight. One, two, three, two dictionaries in your left hand. Feel that weight. Feel the strain in your shoulder. The weight is kicking your right hand up here. I'm gonna snap you out of this entry. I want you to look at your hands when you wake up. One, two, three. Wake up. Give me a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely great. Okay. 
You good, buddy? Look right here. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. Yeah. Oh, you good. You good. You ready? Awesome. Very good. Okay, let's bring it right back here. You guys are doing fantastic. Look at my hands focused on the middle of my hand. And just get real relaxed and take a deep breath in. And exhale. It's really important that you focus up here. Let's do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And as you focus on my hand, I'd like you to realize that you have an uncanny ability to focus only on the sound of my voice, because that's all that really matters right now. As we move along, any sounds you hear, any applause, laughing, anything, that's just going to drive your focus even further. So if you're looking at my hand and listening to my voice and my voice only, let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale. <laughs> We're going to set this up very systematically and very in order. Go ahead and shut your eyes. And with your eyes closed, focus on my voice. We set the trance up slowly and subtly, and now we're going to unleash it. We're going to take it through several levels of, levels of the unconscious mind as you focus even further. I'd like you all to realize you're about to be hypnotized very quickly, simply because you already are. In a little while, your imagination is going to become extremely vivid and extremely clear. We're going to set this up very systematically, very in order. I'd like everybody, while you're focusing on my voice only, with your eyes closed, to focus on the muscles in the back of your neck. In a moment, those muscles are going to get even more relaxed than they are right now. In a moment, those muscles are going to become so relaxed, it won't even be worth holding your head up in the position that it's in. Or was it? Your head will never snap back. It will always go forward with your chin to your chest. And that's going to happen on the count of three. Ready? One, two. Let your head turn. Any sounds around you are just going to make me focus even further. Now I'd like you guys to realize that the relaxing sensation that started in the back of your neck is now starting to spread down into your shoulders. And as it spreads down into your shoulders, you're getting even more relaxed and even more comfortable as your focus grows even further. As you focus on my voice, realize any sounds from the audience are just gonna make you feel that much better. And it's gonna drive your focus even deeper. That feeling that started in your neck, going on your shoulders, it's just start, starting to spread throughout your body. And as it spreads throughout your body, here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to get as comfortable as you need to be on stage. I want you to get as comfortable as possible. If you need to stretch out, you can do that. If you're on the floor, you can stretch out. If you're in the chairs and you feel like you want to get more comfortable, feel free to slither into a more comfortable position. If you feel like you need to open your eyes to get into that more comfortable position, you can do that. But let your body get into a more comfortable position, whatever that means. You can get real comfortable on the stage, whether it's across the chairs, or whether you want to slither onto the floor. It's very important that you're as comfortable as you can possibly be at all times on the stage. That's it. Any sounds around you can make you feel that much better. Any sounds from the audience, if you feel any movement around you, that's no problem at all. This is going to feel that much more comfortable. I'm slowly coming there. Very Right, they're doing great. Give them a big hand, everybody. They're doing fantastic. Any applause you hear is going to just cause waves and good feelings throughout your body. Now, some of you are still in chairs, which is fine. Some of you are on the floor, which is fine. I want you to imagine the most comfortable position you can possibly imagine on stage. I'm going to count to three. I want you to find that comfortable position. So imagine that comfortable position, whether it's across the floor, across the chairs. And I want you to find the more comfortable position there. And that's a one two, three. Find that more comfortable position now. If you need to open your eyes while you move around, you can do that. Nice and slowly. Very good. Very good. Why don't you stretch out a little bit? Man. Stretch out. Go, go down to the floor. Go ahead. That's it. Just find a place on the floor there. There you go. Don't get on that guy's head. Okay, good. <laughs> Is that
Okay, now focus on my voice with your eyes closed. Your focus is growing even deeper. I'm gonna count from five down to zero, and when we get to zero, your focus and your relaxation are gonna be 10 times the levels that they're at right now. And that's on five, feeling totally relaxed. Four, relaxing every muscle, every nerve. Three, focus on my voice only. Two, shutting out all distractions. One, zero. Ten times as good as you feel. Ten times as comfortable. With your eyes closed, feeling totally comfortable and focused on my voice. I'd like you to realize that everything that I say is 100% true. I haven't lied, I have no reason to, and I will continue to tell the truth as you focus on my voice. I'd also like you to realize, going forward, anytime you hear me say the word sleep, and only when I say it, anytime you hear me say the word sleep, you will sleep immediately in less than a second. When I say the word sleep, and only when I say it, you will immediately sleep in less than a second. You will go into a more comfortable position, and you will always go slowly and comfortably into that comfortable position. You will not fall on top of anybody. You can use your arms to guide you. But anytime you say the word sleep, you're gonna sleep in less than a second. Feeling totally relaxed, totally comfortable. Also, want you to realize as we go along, any sounds from the audience are gonna drive your good feelings up. It's going to drive your focus even further. We're going to snap you all out of this on three. Your eyes are going to be awake. You're going to feel totally energized, but you're going to have no idea how you got in the position that you're in right now. And that's on one, two, three. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. Let's give them a big hand. Let's give them a big hand. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are we doing? Very good. Go ahead and sit up. Sit up. Get in a good position. That's it. You guys are doing a great job. Just figure out a good position. Okay? Are you feeling good? Well, let's bring it all back here. Right where we started. Right back here to my hand. Right back here to my hand. I want you to focus. Feeling totally relaxed and comfortable. Oh, everybody. Take a deep breath, and exhale. So totally relaxed, totally comfortable. Everybody, sleep. No. What do you guys think? Give him a big hand up here. Give him a big hand. Always a pleasure to have you feeling 10 times as deep. All right, fantastic. Okay. All right, I'm going to send you guys out of this. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Go ahead, open your eyes on the stage here. And here's what I want you to do. You can sit up, you can grab a chair, or you can stay right where you are on the floor. But I want you to focus on my voice. And what I want you to do is remain awake, but let your eyes close because you want to visualize something, okay? So close your eyes, but focus on my voice. And I want you to realize. <laughs> focus on my voice, but remain awake with your eyes closed. I want you to visualize that we are now in the Bahamas. With your eyes closed and focused on my voice. I want you to realize we are in the Bahamas. Perfect 80 degree weather. Feel that sunlight just bathing over you. How good does that feel right now? It's perfect 80 degree weather. Check out the beautiful sky. There's exotic birds flying overhead. Take a look at those birds flying overhead. Holy cow. Yeah, they don't see these in St. Louis. Now I'm gonna set the scene up for you. We are at one of the best resorts in the world. You have reached paradise. You're on vacation. You've graduated. This is your vacation, and you absolutely deserve this. Now, let's set the scene. You're in front of a pool at a resort. Now, if you look to your left, you're going to see hills of beautiful grass just rolling along the coast as it goes. If you look to your right, you're going to 
you'll see miles of white sand just stretching as far as you can see. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you turn around behind you, you can see the beach stre stretching to the ocean. Go ahead and check that out. Check out the beach. It's incredible. White sand beaches. Oh my gosh, look at that. You see somebody that you know. Look at that. Wave to them. Yell to them. Are you kidding me? Why did you see them in the Bahamas? I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Okay, let's focus on the pool in front of you. Now, let me tell you about this pool. It's a gorgeous pool. It's one of those luxury pools. It's got a swim up bar, so you can get anything you want to eat or drink. Now let me tell you about you guys. You guys are feeling good. You know why you're feeling good? Because you're looking good. See, here's the deal. You've been building up to this vacation for months. And every day for the last six months, for three hours a day, you have been working out. And you look your best. You are feeling good because you are looking good. And you are not afraid to let everybody know that you've been working hard. And you're looking good. That's right. Stretch on out. Feel that. So let's describe the scenery. A lot of good looking people around here. A lot of guys up here looking good because they've been working out. But let me tell you, there is a plethora of the most amazing women you have ever seen walking around this pool. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> some of these... Some of these women, I don't even know how you can call those bathing suits. I mean, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there were rumors that there was a Sports Illustrated swimsuit shoot going on not, not, too, not too far away. And, oh my gosh, holy cow. Look at there's two women over there that have chosen to sunbathe topless. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if that's legal. All right, all right. So I want you to focus on how good you feel. Realize that this resort has everything you could possibly imagine. I mean, this is a perfect vacation. But here's the deal, guys. You've been focused on how good you feel so much that you, you weren't paying attention to the news. And the news reports have said that the Bahamas is going to get hit by this heat wave. It's the biggest heat wave in 20 years. Now you barely noticed because it was 80 degrees, but as it gets up to 85, you kind of feel just a little uptick in the heat. Now as it gets up to 90 degrees, you start, you know, sweating a little bit. You're definitely feeling it. Now the humidity is starting to decrease, it gets up to 95 degrees. This is kind of, it's pretty uncomfortable. As it gets up to 100 degrees, you're not happy. This is not what you signed up for. This feels like St. Louis in August. This is ridiculous. You are sweating. You need to get more comfortable. Oh my gosh, as it gets up to 105, this is ridiculous. The sweat is just oh pouring God, off of you. you. 110 degrees, if you need to get more comfortable, do that. And you know what? What's really, what's really just on fire is your feet. Your feet are on fire. If you have shoes on, take those shoes off. Get those shoes off. Your feet are on fire. That's it. Get those shoes off. Take your socks off, too. Your shoes are on fire. Your feet are on fire. As it gets up to 115, the heat is increasing. And I'm going to tell you what. At 120 degrees, it's getting hard to breathe. But I have good news. An oxygen mask is sitting in front of you, and that's your shoes. So grab that oxygen mask. Get that oxygen mask. You can open your eyes if you need to find a shoe. It doesn't have to be your shoe. It could be somebody else's. Get that oxygen mask. Breathe it in. That's it. Get that oxygen mask. Oh, yeah. Get that oxygen. Oh, my gosh. All right. Who wants some water? Who wants some water? You raise your hand. It's okay. I got a nice cold cup of water right here. I want you to see the cup of water. It's got ice in it, refreshing the condensation. Turn it down. I'm going to give it to you. Go ahead and start drinking it down. Get that refreshing water. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I gave you the vinegar. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Get that out. I'm really sorry about that. Grab a cup of water by your feet. There's a cup of water by your feet. Just take that. It's really refreshing. Feel that refreshing water soaking down as the temperature gets back. 
down to perfect, comfortable 80 degrees. Back to paradise. Feeling good. Back to this perfect scenery. By the pool, ladies. <laughs> So guys, I'm just going to be on it. Dude, false joke! Any songs you hear is going to make you focus even further on the good feelings you got. <laughs> but here's the thing, these things come... These things come in twos! So, after the heat wave, there's going to be a cold front moving in. <laughs> and from 80 degrees, you can say to 75, you barely notice it. At 70 degrees, it gets a little cooler. 65 down to 60. Now you're thinking maybe you should have brought like a long sleeve t-shirt or something. It's down to 55 degrees. You definitely start to feel it. The wind picks up at 50 degrees. You start to shiver a little bit. It's down to 45. This is football weather, and you definitely didn't bring the right clothes. 40 degrees, start to shiver a little bit, 35, holy cow, this is getting cold. 30 degrees, 25 degrees, you are really shivering right now. And guys, it gets down to 20 and 15 degrees, realize the only source of warmth is other people. Find that warmth, you gotta get warm. You've gotta get warm. Find that warmth. It's 10 degrees, you're shivering. Find that warmth and everybody listen up. We're gonna sleep and relax. Get comfortable. Sleep right where you are on stage. Listen to this applause wash over you. Alright, feeling totally relaxed and totally comfortable. I want you to realize, in a little while, I'm going to wake you up, and whenever I say the word ouch, and only when I say it, you are going to feel the hardest pinch on your rear end you have ever felt. It's going to be painful, and you are going to be angry. You're not going to do anything violent like push or punch or do anything like that, but you are going to be really angry, and you're going to accuse someone right next to you. <laughs> so, we're going to wake you guys up on the count of three, you're going to be wide awake, and you're going to hear a big applause, it's going to make you feel really good. So on the count of three, one, two, three, wake up! You're back guys, how are we doing? Alright, go ahead and get comfortable, that's it, get comfortable, there you go. Yeah, we just made a, we made a mess here, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Now we gotta be really careful with all these shoes and socks around. We don't want anybody slipping or getting injured or hurting. I want everybody's eyes open and you can sit up. Sit up for me. Be wide awake. And I want you to focus on my voice, my voice only. And I was saying it's good to get these things out of the way. It's kind of a mess on stage. We don't want anybody slipping and falling. Usually if somebody uh, if somebody gets hurt in any way, they usually say ouch. They just say ouch and they. <laughs> what happened here? What? You pin where did he pinch you? What's going on? What happened? Something happened to you? What happened here? Where did he pinch you? <laughs> What are we doing here, guys? Come on. Hey, what, what's going on here? What happened? Kevin just punched me on my ass. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes. I want to keep the show clean, keep it respectful. If you like pinch, I just need you to switch places. Get away from that person. Go ahead, switch places. Do what you need to do. Just move it around. That's it, that's it. All right. All right. Let's just keep it cool. Keep it cool. Did we move? Did we wave? Okay. 
<laughs> now I want you guys to notice with the power of suggestion, when it happens again, they're going to accuse the same person. And I want you guys to pay attention. I don't want any injuries. I don't want anybody saying, ouch. <laughs> And what happened? Just don't forget. Are you serious? What happened here? Pinch my freaking ass. What's going on here? I don't know. So, what happened? Pinch me. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Okay. I know you're upset, guys. We're gonna make sure this doesn't happen again. Focus on my hand right here, everybody. And sleep. Okay. Are they actually asleep? Guy right here on Tesla wants you to wake up. How you doing, bud? You're Grant, right? Can you stand up? Are you having a good time? Stand up. Yeah, let's hear it for Grant. You're doing fantastic. You feeling good? Cool. Put your hands on like this, Grant. Fingers up. Fingers up. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you count your fingers. And I just want you to, um, you know what, actually, hang on. Check my hand again. I just wanna make sure, I don't know if I did that right. And sleep. No. No. Right. Grant, I want you to listen to me. I wanna touch your head. When I touch your head, the number six is gonna be gone. I'm taking number six from existence. The number six does not exist in your vocabulary. That's impossible. When we count to ten, you're gonna count like this. You go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we count by twos, you're gonna go two, four, eight, ten, twelve. And you're gonna skip the number six, because the number six doesn't exist. That's impossible. Even if somebody yells in the audience, you're not gonna acknowledge it because it doesn't exist. So wake up here, Grant, wake up. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Can you stand up real quick? Yeah, let's stand up. And now let's come back to that. Put your hands out. You're doing fantastic. Put your hands out. Now I'm going to focus on this hand. I want you to count your fingers starting with this pinky just on your left hand. So you're going to go from pinky to thumbs, one, two, over to your thumb. And that's it. Can you do that? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now we're going to come to your right hand. I want you to do the same thing. We're going to start with one. Start with your thumb right here and go all the way over to your pinky. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Pretty straightforward so far. Now we're going to just combine them, and I want you to count all your fingers. You start with this pinky. One, two, and keep all the way, and just keep counting until you get to the end. Okay, real loud. One, two, three, four, five, seven. <laughs> Love it? Hang on a second. Let me examine. We just counted them. Like five here, five. Do it. Let's just make sure. Do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have you think about that. Why don't you have a seat? Let's give Grant a big hand. I don't know, you're looking to you see what you're If you're on stage, I want you to close your eyes, but I want you to listen to my voice. And I want you to realize that when you wake up, I'm gonna be holding, I'm gonna get out of my pocket, a sleep gun. And you are gonna want to get shot by this sleep gun. This sleep gun is gonna make you feel instantly about a hundred times better than you already feel right now. It's gonna be the most amazing feeling you've ever felt. And when you get hit by the sleep gun, you will immediately sleep in total relaxation. And you are gonna to want to get shot by the sleep gun. So I'm gonna wake you up on the count of three. One, two, three, wake up guys. Go ahead and sit up if you're laying down. Go ahead and sit up your leg now. I want you to focus on my voice. I got some really good news. I've been experimenting with this one thing about doing it. It's great. I brought it with me tonight. This is not locking, guys. What I have with me here is a sleep gun. All right? Now, I don't know if you've heard about this, but the bullets in here make you feel the most incredible you've ever felt in your life. Okay? Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Okay, well sit down, sit down. Make sure you're sitting down. Okay. Don't charge me, I'm not afraid. Okay. You want, okay, you're good, hang on. Right, see, test the range on this. Alright, excellent. Wow, this is really good. Hang on. 
defect there. Good. Oh, we got two. Two Spartans with one bullet. All right, very good. Right here. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me switch it to automatic here. Okay, good. Oh, man, that's excellent. That works well. I like that. Good. All right, Cam, you. Oh, sorry, I missed. Sorry, just a second. I got you every time. Oh, God, man, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, hang on. Okay, very good. Let's give him a hand, I think we got everybody. We got everybody on stage. Tony, totally we got everybody. We shot everybody. Oh, did I, I didn't get you? Are you ready? No? Okay, come on up here, come up here. What's your name again? Connor, come on, Connor, come on up here. All right, now, this feels incredible. You ready? Okay. Actually, you know what? I'd like to get in on this action. I want you, I'm gonna have you shoot me first and then shoot you. Is that, can you do that for me? Okay, so in a second I'm gonna hand this to you. You're gonna make the gun turn with your, uh, with your fingers. Now we'll count to three and you shoot. You got it? Okay, so here we go. Good. You got it? Okay, now aim. Aim. Right here, Connor. Right here. Aim. We should get a good aim. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, sometimes with rookies, the aim is a little off. So just lock your arms. Lock your arms. Really lock eyes. Okay, I don't know if you've ever done this before. I had to get used to it too. Here we go. One, two, three. It's brand new. There might be something wrong with it. Let me examine it here. Oh, wait, there's something wrong with the bullet. Would you have a look inside there? See if it's okay. Let's hear it for our ladies and gentlemen. Stage, focus on my voice. When you wake up, I'm gonna say a couple of words and you're gonna react right away. Whenever I say the word beans, you are gonna smell the worst, disgusting, vile smell you have ever smelled in your life. That's when I say beans. You are not gonna be happy. You're gonna stay where you are, you're not gonna roam around, but you're definitely gonna be disgusted. But I'm also gonna say a good word. I'm gonna say cookies. And whenever I say cookies, what I want you to do is think back to like a snow day when you were a kid, when you were in grade school, and your mom was making cookies, and you walked into your kitchen, you smelled that incredible smell, the cookies mom was baking. It's the best smell you've ever smelled in your life, and you're gonna smell that, and you're gonna wanna find out where it's coming from. You don't know where it's coming from on stage, but it's gonna be coming from somewhere on stage. It might be under the chairs, although you're not gonna lift them up or throw them. It might be coming from some of the other people on stage, like their neck or their arms. Or they, you just don't know where it's coming from, but you wanna find it, that's when I say cookies. Also, I'm gonna to touch one person's shoulder right now. One person's shoulder. The person whose shoulder I'm touching right now Anytime I say the word Tarzan, no matter what you're doing, you're gonna stand up, the person who's touching on the shoulder. Whenever I say the word Tarzan, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna give us your best Tarzan bellow and beat your chest. You're gonna, oh! And then you're gonna act like nothing happened and play dumb. That's that person whose shoulder I was touching. So on the count of three, I'm gonna snap you guys out of this. One, two, three, wake up. Okay, everybody wake up, sit up. I got a couple things to tell you. All right? I just gotta say, I'm super impressed with the whole DeSmet lock-in. I've done this multiple times now, the operation just runs smoothly. Can we give a big hand for the parents who are volunteering and ready to put it on? You guys have just done an excellent job. I mean, you guys got everything. You got snacks, you got sports, you got stuff downstairs. I went to this one school, I don't know, it might have been like, it's just one of those terrible schools like CBC. And um, they just, uh, all they had their lock in was beans. That's all they had at their lock in. And I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. They just had beans. That's all they had. They were giving me beans. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. But I mean, you guys do it right. You got pizza, you got cookies, you got everything. I mean, it's just, 
He got everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing. I'm just glad I didn't find any beans at the lobby. If I would have found beans, that would have been horrible. It just would have been terrible. <laughs> you know, and after the after the hypnosis show, I heard you guys are gonna have a movie screening. I can't remember what movie. I think it's uh, I think it's Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> You okay over there, buddy? You all right? You good? You good? I'm just trying to make more distractions. Okay. All right, I want everybody to relax and focus on my voice. I got some good news for you. You can just sit up, have your eyes open. All smells are gone for the moment. We've cleaned everything up. Now, um, I got some good news for you. See, there's this crew from MTV. They're starting a new reality show. And they're traveling around the country and they're having dance contests. Well, here's the cool thing about the dance contest. It is a million dollar prize. Now this is a mobile contest. So they're going all across the country. And they're visiting the Dismet Lock-In tonight. So you have an opportunity right here, right now, to win a million dollars. Tonight, right here, right now, in the Lock-In, okay? Here's how it's gonna work. Music's gonna start in a second. There's gonna be a couple different times. Your chance to show your skills. The best dancer is going to win that million dollars tonight as we sit here. So I want you to think about that. Think of what you would do with a million dollars. How good would that be, man? You could have anything you want you to imagine specifically. If I get you and a million dollars tonight, what would you do? What do you think you would do with a million dollars? Go on vacation. Vacation, good, yeah. yeah. What do you think you would do with a million dollars? Buy a house. Buy a house, good. How about you? What do you think you'd do with a million dollars? Would you make snow angels and just spread it across the floor and just like, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, so think about that. So, this music's going to start in a second. You're going to hear the crowd going crazy. We want to see who is going to be the best dancer. Who's gonna win that million dollars? All right, you guys ready? Go ahead and stand up, stand up. Who's gonna win a million dollars? Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna win that million dollars? Show us what you got here. Who's gonna win the million dollars? Who's it gonna be? Right, you really gonna show it to us here, guys? Come on, show it to us. What you got? What you got? Who's gonna win the million dollars? Who's gonna win the million dollars? Make some good dancers. You can do the audience clap, but they are loving it here. All right, here we go. Right. Somebody you gotta show me who's gonna be the winner here. Come on now! Alright, here we go. Who's gonna win the million dollars? <laughs> yeah! You guys did fantastic! Come on. Who wants a million dollars? If I know this. Here we go. Here we go. Now watch me play. 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 Watch me Watch me play. 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 You know, I don't know if you want to find somebody to dance with. <laughs> Okay, we'll give you one.
You want to start with your pinky. Uh, two, four, all the way up to your thumb. Let's go ahead. Two, four, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> twelve? Wait, one more time. Two, four, eight, ten, twelve. Now I'm a little confused. We had eleven before, now we got two. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Um, how would you like that million dollars? Did, um, I actually have it here for you. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> no. All right, let's hear from Brandon and Rich. All right, guys, we're hitting the home stretch. I want you to focus on my voice and listen up as you're feeling relaxed on stage. In a moment, I'm going to wake you up, and I'm going to share with you some bad news. We've been up here for an hour, and things just didn't work. The hypnosis show has been a complete failure. Nothing worked. Absolutely nothing worked. I've been trying for an hour. You guys have been up here. It's been a total waste of time. And you are going to be angry because you've been looking forward to this. You gave it your all. I just didn't do my job. I didn't do a great job. You're going to let me know that. You're not going to do anything physical like push or punch or hit. You're going to see where you are. But you are going to yell at me. Let me know exactly how you feel because you're not going to be happy. So I'm going to wake you up on three. Wake up, guys. Open your eyes. And go ahead and sit up. Go ahead. Guys, I'm sorry. I got some bad news for you. Sit up. Just get comfortable. And I want you to listen to me. I just got some bad news to share. Um, I'm really sorry. Things just haven't worked out tonight. I mean, we've been working really hard. We've been up here for an hour. And things just failed. Um, this has never happened to me before. I did everything I could. And I don't know what happened, but you guys just... It didn't work. So angry. What, what'd you say? Suck. You're right. I'm sorry. What'd you say? You're a waste of time. You're right. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you trained for this a long time, didn't you? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. How do you? Feel? Pretty pissed. <laughs> I'm really sorry. You look like you could. I'm too stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I wish I had something to make you guys feel better. I wish I had something like beans to make you feel better. I wish I, I wish you had something like beans to make you feel better. Um, I mean, and if that didn't work, maybe, I don't know, maybe cookies would make you feel better? I don't know, maybe cookies would make you feel better. I'm not sure. Cookies usually make people feel better. I mean, if nothing else, I'd at least like to share a movie with you. I'd like to watch Tarzan with you or something. You know, I'm just glad nothing serious happened. I'm glad nobody got hurt. I'm glad nobody said, ouch! <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody, check it out. I got one more thing here. It's in my pocket. This is actually a sleep grenade. Let me pull it in. Boom, sleep. What do you think? Did you do a good job? Did you do a good job? Okay, as you're on stage, I want you to listen to my voice. And if you're in the audience, I want you guys to listen to me. This is a tremendous time in your life. I'm really honored to be a part of this. This is a time that will never happen again. You guys just graduated today. You're on the cusp of amazing things. The last couple of years in high school and the next couple of years in college will be among the most amazing experiences you guys ever have. So, the last hour, we've been giving these guys suggestions. I haven't been in control of them. They've been following my suggestions. And it's the same thing with you guys. Nobody controls your future except for you. So it's up to you guys to put your mind on the things that set your hearts on fire. It's up to you to figure out what you want and go for it. It's up to you to set those goals that seem impossible and make your dreams happen. So I want to challenge you guys. Be your own hypnotist. Program your own mind. Set those things in focus. And shut out the distractions. Shut out the negative people in your life. Go after it. Go set the world on fire. Good luck with everything. Thanks for letting me be here with you tonight. Real quick plug, I do a lot of different things. My name is Joe Fingerhut. That's finger with, like, on your hand, and then H-U-T. You know, Instagram, social media, all that. I do a lot of different things. You can follow me, and um, I'll post pictures 
and have lots of things and stuff like that. I'd love to keep in touch with you guys as you go forward. For everybody on stage, listen up. In a moment, I'm gonna wake you up. I'm gonna count to three, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna get struck by lightning. You're gonna get struck by lightning, but this is the best type of lightning. This lightning is gonna fill you with euphoria and adrenaline. You're gonna feel the best you've ever felt. You're gonna feel like you just came from a two-day fresh sleep. You're gonna be totally energized. You're gonna stand up and then jump up as high as you can. And when your feet touch the ground, you're gonna snap out of your trance and everything is gonna come back to you. You're gonna remember everything you did on stage tonight. 